Hello everyone. Welcome to webinar series on tech creation around cyber physical system under Intel Higher Education program. Are you a tech maker? If so, be a part of Intel Higher Education Challenge 2017 in cyber physical systems. Firstly, I would like to take you through the agenda of webinar. First, we'll see about the challenge, then the key requirements of the challenge. And finally, as a challenge is cyber physical system based, we will go into its details. Let us now discuss the challenge and see how it will be beneficial if you are going to be a part of it. The challenge focuses on tech creation for cyber physical system using Intel Edison or Intel Genuino 101 for engineering and science students. It is a part of Intel higher education program in India, which works closely with premier engineering universities, research institutions and the government to build a more skilled workforce and an enabling ecosystem that supports innovation and entrepreneurship. And talking about the benefits, this contest brings cutting edge technology exposure to the students and fosters technology entrepreneurship and innovation. This challenge supports the ecosystem and encourages the collaboration between its stakeholders and enables student innovators in enhancing their idea to an advanced real world application which solves challenges in the society. This challenge also provides an opportunity to the engineering and science students across the country to come up with unique and innovative ideas to work on cyber physical system using Intel processors and technology in the domains of rural, energy, healthcare, security, automation, smart city solutions, agriculture, etc. The challenge is all about think, learn, implement and exhibit. Let us now discuss the four different phases of the challenge keeping all this in mind. Phase one is idea submission where students should think an innovative idea for the challenge and should submit it as per the given template within deadlines. Phase two is video submission of a working model for the proposed idea. During this phase, the shortlisted teams from phase one need to learn about the technology for the implementation of the project idea. Once the implementation is done, teams will have to submit the video of the working model as per the timeline to become eligible for the next phase. Phase three, it is a two days rapid prototyping camp. Teams qualifying phase two will be eligible to participate in this phase. In this phase, teams need to attend a two day RPC camp, which will be held in Bengaluru. In this two day camp, students will get opportunity to interact with experts from industries, where they will be given inputs from mentors for further improvisation of the project. Details will be shared with the shortlisted teams over mail. Phase four, this is the final showcase of the prototype. The teams qualifying the phase three will be eligible for the fourth phase to showcase their final prototype. In this phase, projects will be evaluated and shortlisted teams will get opportunity to be a part of workshop in one of the leading accelerator. We will now see what are the key requirements of Intel Higher Education Challenge 2017. All engineering and science students of private and government colleges all over India are eligible to participate in this event. A team can consist a maximum of three students and they can be from any stream or discipline. 
the team members should be from the same college or university or institute the team can submit only one unique idea multiple ideas submitted by single team will not be accepted we will now see what are the parameters that should be kept in mind to create your project idea the project idea should be around cyber physical system using intel edison or intel genuino 101 the idea should be unique and innovative that is the developed solution should not be an existing one if the proposed solution is inspired by a present solution then it must be an improved version of the existing one this should solve the real life problems that is it should be focusing on rural energy healthcare security automation smart city solutions and agriculture domain the proposed solution should be feasible that is it is expected to be efficient robust and reliable to implement in terms of technology and size it should be affordable to build and operate the proposed solution should be cost effective and should fulfill the end user requirement or the identified problem it should be suitable for indian consumers and conditions the solution must be developed keeping the targeted consumers in mind that is it should be designed according to the end users requirement next we have a certain guidelines that the participants need to follow while they submit their project idea idea should be submitted as per the given format any changes made in the format will result to rejection of idea the idea is expected to be submitted in pdf format you can send your idea to mentor at fies dot in on or before deadline late submissions will not be accepted we will now have a look on the dates to submit your idea the participants can start sending their ideas from 30th may 2017 and the last day for submission will be 4th august 2017 Next we are going to details of cyber physical systems. This challenge is mainly concentrating on cyber physical systems. So it is quite necessary that we know a little deeper about the topic. Cyber physical systems are currently of interest in academia, industry and government due to its potentially significant impact on society, environment and economy basically cyber physical system refers to the next generation of engineered systems that require tight integration of computing communication and control strategies to achieve stability performance reliability robustness and efficiency in dealing with physical systems of many applications The integration of computation, sensing technologies and connectivity will make a cyber physical system. Let us now go one by one. Computational capabilities have become more powerful and affordable and at the same time computation time has become lesser enabling innovators to add meaningful number of processing power essentially to any device. In addition to development in computation sensing technologies have become crisp and ubiquitous so that we can measure meaningful information from physical world anytime and anywhere Connectivity is omnipresent nowadays and almost every type of device can connect seamlessly to a limitless network of technologies near and far surrounding all the development of compute sensor and communication technologies we have already discussed cyber physical systems are integration of computation networking 
and physical processes. In general, cyber physical system refers to the next generation of engineered systems that require tight integration of computing, communication and control strategies to achieve stability, performance, reliability, robustness and efficiency in dealing with physical systems of various applications. To conclude, we can say that it is expected that a cyber physical system can potentially revolutionize how we interact, operate and construct many engineered systems which our modern society critically depends on such as automobiles, aircraft, power grid, manufacturing plants, medical systems and buildings. This is the registration link for the Intel Higher Education Challenge 2017. Link for submitting project idea will be shared later. I hope all the listeners are clear about the challenge. For any queries, contact info at fice.in or mentor at fice.in. All the best to the participants. Thank you and have a nice day.